Late night. Uh, he's been on Comedy Central, Conan, Last Comic Standing, uh, Colbert, the, the Funny Bone stage. Yeah, now the Funny Bone stage. He also has a Twitter account that may be my new favorite that I follow. It's <laughs> joining us cracking on, me up. Yeah, he's got a great turkey. <laughs> uh, joining us on the couch, Mark Norman. Good to see you, Mark. Hey, hey, thanks for having me. Good to be here. So you do the, the rounds on late night TV shows. You did Conan five times? Five times, yeah. The last one was Wednesday. Oh, were you? On yeah, Wednesday? just on Wednesday, and then I flew here. I look, Conan's one of my favorites, but he's on the other network now, so I don't, I can't flip that high in the dial sometimes. Uh -huh. I always forget about it. So you were on this week. Yeah, I was on this week, and uh, Conan's the best because I've done Fallon and Colbert, and that's network. That's yeah, CBS right. and NBC. This is TBS cable, so you can really you cut get away loose. with more. Mm -hmm. I did a Muslim joke. I did a. A Native American joke. I really went after it. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that on that no. primetime TV. Well, let's start about or talk about how you got started. Eight All years right. ago, you opened for Amy Schumer, correct? Yes, ma'am. Tell us about your friendship. And, and that kept going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird story. I was doing a comedy club. I was green. I was wide-eyed, bushy-tailed, horrible comedian, <laughs> and uh, I was bombing. But one joke worked. And during that one joke, she happened to walk through, and she heard that one joke. She's like, "Oh, this guy's funny." And even though I was bombing the whole other set. So the whole set. thing wasn't very good? Yeah, was one, joke? one joke. And then she came in the green room and she was like, hey, I'm Amy. And I didn't know who she was. And right. no one else did either. And uh, they were like, hey, she's like, you should open for me. And I was like, sure. And that was it. And you're friends. I mean, you guys are pretty we, close, yeah, correct? Yeah, we're buds, yeah. 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 So what's that? So seven years with Amy on, on the road. Uh, Louis C.K., was you also toured with him? I used to open for Louis, too, yeah. yeah I so for his Netflix special. <laughs> <laughs> Fun well, fact. Put that out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what was that like touring with, with Amy, though? Oh, man, it was great because I watched her go from 25 people at the Schomburg Improv outside of Illinois, and then I watched her do the Charlie Sheen roast, then she got her own TV show, then she got the movie Trainwreck, and then right. Madison Square Garden. Isn't it amazing how fast that, that can happen? Insane. In yeah, she flew, yeah. Insane. No one, I mean, it was such a whirlwind. Like, before we know it, we're in, in the back of a Delta flight, then before I know it, we're on a private jet. Right. It's crazy. Yeah. Private jet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we could right. use one of those. We're about at that level, right? Well, you got some mean barbecue. I saw. Yeah, hey, do you want there. some ribs? They're so I do. Good. I was hoping you'd offer. Yes. Jesus. You could have just had some, but yeah, we'll get you some of those. Now, funny bone this weekend. Oh yeah. And have you been ever been to Omaha before? Just with Amy when we flew in, flew out. So oh, yeah, I'm really okay. gonna soak it up. I'll eat some meat and see Warren Buffett, and you know, <laughs> not see any Jews. Colleen, <laughs> just go to Warren's house. Just go knock on the door. Colleen, yes. has Warren been out to the funny bone? <laughs> Colleen. War Warren, Warren Buffett. Buffett. Is he, he will for Mark. He yeah. will for yeah, Mark. Yeah, we're getting him there. He's coming. He will. He's coming. He's, he's, he's going to be there definitely this weekend. Watching Big fan of mine. Uh, we were talking about your Twitter feed. Yeah. yeah. How do you come up with your, your Twitter? So are, you, are you just sitting around? Just sitting on the bed, toilet. Right, something pops the in. You, you write it down. You know what I like about it is you're saying things that everybody else thinks. You think so? Yes, I oh, do. I could great. relate to it. My favorite. Well, I really like the kickball comment. Oh, yeah. Something about yeah, yeah, yeah. when you're younger. What was it? Dating. It was, um, uh, kickball leagues are the original sad way to meet people before online dating. Yeah, <laughs> because like it's true. I have a, one of my best friends met her husband playing kickball, and oh. I know a couple other couples from playing kickball, oh, so I find that go. hilarious. <laughs> Twitter's great because comics think of all these funny things, and they don't always work on stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can just put them out there in the world, and I have like 40,000 followers, so somebody will get it. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, I, I got all of them. I thought it was pretty oh. funny, so well, thanks. I'm Jeez. following you. But, you know, sometimes when you put stuff out there, you, you got to deal with the the reaction from fans that maybe don't take it as well, maybe negatively. Sure. You know, as a comic, you try different stuff. So yeah. how do you deal with those online trolls? I don't even think about it. I yeah. just, I favor it and I move on. Mm -hmm. I don't <laughs> care. Like they, the only way to give those idiots power is to you know, go, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and apologize. Just go, ah, you know, screw you and get a life. So you. I'm trying to watch my language here. <laughs> I know. No, that's okay. I know. I am television. Yeah, yeah. The kids watching. Summer's out. You got oh, yeah, out. kids, yeah. stay in school. Don't do crack. <laughs> Good message, yes. everyone. Yes. We're learning things. Now, today. I want to hear a little bit more about how you got started. You're from New Orleans. Yes. Correct? From New Orleans, Not born much and raised. Of a comedy town. No. So tell us, how'd you get to New York? I always loved comedy. I always was a fan as a kid, but there's no outlet in New yeah. Orleans. You can get up at a bar, maybe, at a karaoke night or something. So uh, my friend said, I'm going to move to New York. And I said, I'll go with you. And uh, it was a horrible train. I moved to New York with $400. I got mugged three times in a year. Landlord died of AIDS. And I got bed bugs. Like, First that's real? true. That's For all real? true. Yeah, all true. How'd you get mugged? I mean, what happened? You got mugged three times? Well, I was a pretty big booze bag. Right. And uh, I would come home drunk, you know. I was the, the one white guy coming home in, in the uh, rough neighborhood. And uh, I was a sitting duck, you know. Yeah. I was thinking after the second time, 
can come to the conclusion that's probably something <laughs> right. you're doing wrong. Yeah, it was Quit all my fault. Yeah, Quit stumbling maybe. home drunk <laughs> right. at 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah, if no one had mugged me, I'd have been like, guys, you're missing out here. Like, <laughs> I was on. that easy to mug. I yeah. was fall asleep on the train. I woke up on the train once, a guy had his hand in my pocket. Are you serious? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <what>? Long, <laughs> Wait, long way Why didn't we start Omaha. with these stories yeah. at the beginning of the segment, Mark? Mark? I got a million. What else do you got from New York? We'll bump the produce guy. <laughs> well, we're pretty, while we look, oh, take a look at Mark Norman is going to be at the Funny Bone tonight. Uh, two shows tonight, two shows Ooh. tomorrow. In the meantime, before he does that, he's going to be eating some ribs from They're Hog Wild so Barbecue. Good. This is vegan, right? Absolutely. Vegan. All right, 100% great. is all we carry. Oh, baby doll. <laughs> well, baby doll, <laughs> baby back ribs. Well, thank you so much. Oh, so good? good. They're good, aren't mm -hmm. they? Very good. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mark, I love it here. Buddy. Have a thank good time you. in Omaha. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. So,